Hey everybody, it's Paul Colligan. I, I want something I want to I want to show you here today. I'm I'm in a mind mapping program. I, I don't even typically like mind mapping programs, but I, I think this is a good way to explain what it is that I want to show you guys. I, I call it my new media creation model. I'm I'm in the new media space. I mean, you guys are watching this right now on a YouTube video. Probably a YouTube video. I'll probably shoot it to the other sites as well. But the the new YouTube widescreen technology uh, makes a video like this uh, very attractive, very doable. So I thought I would give my first widescreen screencast a, a try here. So you're probably watching this on YouTube or watching this through YouTube Player, and it's it's new media. And but what I want to talk is I want to talk my new media creation model because it's, I think it's something that we we all have something to learn from. So. Um, Web, web 2.0 is is all the buzz these days. And, and you know, new media is definitely a Web 2.0 thing. Podcasting is a 2.0 thing. Blogging is a 2.0 thing. And I, I want to take a second to tell you what I think, what I feel Web 2.0 is. Web 1.0 was really simple. It was us on the internet on our terms. We, we had a website. We had an email newsletter. We, we had a place where people went to find our stuff. And, and that was what Web 1.0 was. Web 2.0 with syndication and RSS and XML, we were able to syndicate the content, shoot it out to other people so that they could grab it on, on their terms. This is a video that I'm going to embed at my blog at paulcolligan.com, but it's going to be available on YouTube. I'm probably going to syndicate it to the other video sites as well. And so, whereas 1.0 was us on the internet on our terms, 2.0 dictates that we be on the internet on their terms, on, on the terms of our customer, on the terms of our client, on the terms of our audience. And, and that's what Web 2.0 is. If you, you know, the numbers right now at paulcolligan.com, my blog, seven out of eight people who consume the paulcolligan.com content don't consume it at paulcolligan.com. They consume it at you know, they're feed readers, they get it by email, they have it embedded in the home pages of other websites. And that's fine. That's great. That's the web 2.0. Um, grab it where you want. I don't care where you're watching this video. I'm just glad that you're watching this video. That's that's web 2.0. So which is which is new media. So let's talk a simple fact. Simple fact. You have to record this at some point. Um, right now, I'm recording this on my desktop at, you know, 1026 on, on, on a Wednesday evening. And I'm glad I can. A, a, a bit of inspiration, a, a source of, uh, you know, you know it, it's a moment here. And I'm glad I could record it for you. But, you know, whenever we take new media, you know, we have to record it at some point. And that's not a Web 1.0 issue, a Web 2.0 issue. That's a, you know, a space-time continuum issue. You know, at some point, we got to sit down and we have to record what it is that we're doing. Now, my new media creation model... Is very different from what other people are doing. And I want you to consider this, okay? Best of both worlds. You see, when I record, I like to, if at all possible, record live for those who want it that way. There are some people who like to attend a live event. There are some people who like to be there when it's happening, you know, the buzz of the moment, you, you know, and, and that makes sense. Football games and, and award shows, you know, you know, live things where you don't know what's going to happen. There are some people who, who like things live. And there's some people who want to attend at the moment. Um, There's a, there's a simple issue of, you know, if I don't attend it live, I'm never going to attend it kind of thing. There, There's a distraction element. There, there's a whole bunch of elements there. And so what you what we do is, you know, a part of the whole Web 2.0 thing is we offer our content live for those who want it that way. And then we record it live. And then we take that content and we make podcast content out of that for people who don't want it live. Okay. See how this works? So it's got to be, I mean, I got to record it here. So I might as well record it live in front of an audience because some people like it that way as the web 2.0 dictates. But then I take that recording and I podcast it and I make it available via time shift for people who don't want it live. And it's the best of both worlds. And it's it's a, a, a slight twist. It's a slight change, but it's really, really important. And, and I, I want to share this concept with you because it's really viable. It's really valuable. And I think it's something that anybody in, in new media wants, wants to look at. Now, Thursday night, 
December 4th, my good friend Alex Mendozian is doing a live teleseminar about the world of teleseminars, a teleseminar on teleseminars. It is a, and, and you can find out about this at teleseminarsecretspreviewcall.com. This live event is where he talks about his world of, of, of teleseminars, and it's, it's, it's a great event. I mean, look at some of the people that he's worked with, uh, Trump, uh, Covey, Ecker, you know, Robert Allen, Michael Gerber, David Bach, Jay Abraham. I mean, it's amazing the work that, that Alex has done work with. And, um, you, you know, if you look at this kind of stuff he's going to cover, you know, marketing advantages, um, avoiding embarrassing mistakes, his seven-step plan, case studies for cash, Alex is, is in the heart of teleseminar creation. And so he's got this live event. Um, if you follow the page over at teleseminar secrets preview call .com, um, you can get in for, you know, 79 bucks off. You, you can get in for $20, which is, um, you know, if you follow, follow this page. Now, Alex teaches teleseminars. I teach new media. But the fact of the matter is, is his training, his content about teleseminars really is if you follow my model, new media training. Because if you look at this stuff, you know, claiming market advantages, eight critical advantages I have whenever I conduct my teleseminars, well, remember, record it live and podcast it to anybody who wants to hear it post live. Avoiding embarrassing mistakes. Have you ever created content and had some embarrassing mistakes? You want to plan to all this? You know, tripling passive income, case studies for cash, outsourcing strategies, list building, everything in this teleseminar training program is about that live element that I implement in my new media creation, which I really recommend that, that you implement as well. So this, as I said, is, is, is 20 bucks. Um, so, so the best 20 bucks you'll spend. Um, if, if you can attend live, there's nothing like attending an Alex Mendozi and Teleseminar live. Now, I, I will tell you the truth. Um, if you can't attend live, you, you will get a recording. Um, he will make that available for you because Alex is no dummy. Alex, you know, understands the world of, of time shifting. And, you know, if you can't attend live, um, Teleseminar Secrets Preview Call will get you to the recording of it. But I want you to consider taking this training i guarantee you that if you consume this training if you watch this training through the lens through the mindset of i am going to learn how to do a teleseminar as my point of content creation that i then bring into the new media space you're going to do really well it's going to be a really interesting evening for you so Take my model, watch this video again if you need to, give a visit to teleseminarsecretspreviewcall.com. Um, it'll be available for a little while after December 4th. Um, once it goes away, the, the page will take you somewhere else. But but consider this model and consider entering the quote-unquote, you know, older world, more traditional world of, of teleseminars or, or live events or webinars or, or any of these things as your point of content creation that you then syndicate accordingly. Alex is a, a master of content creation. Alex is a dear friend. This event is the best $20 you can possibly spend all year. I wanted to let you know about it, but I wanted to give you the framework for it. There we go. That is it. Have a great one. I will be on the call. I hope you'll be there too. Bye.